In order to prove the given result, let's consider the cross product of vectors a minus t and c minus b. This is equal to a cross c minus a cross b minus d cross c plus d cross b. This can be written as a cross c minus a cross b plus c cross d because d cross c is equal to minus c cross d minus b cross d because d cross b is equal to minus b cross d. Now we are given that c cross d is equal to a cross b and we are also given that b cross d is equal to a cross c. Substituting these results we get a cross c minus a cross b plus a cross b minus a cross c. All the terms cancel out and we are left with a null vector. Therefore, a minus d cross c minus b is equal to the null vector, which means that vectors a minus d is parallel to vector c minus b, and it therefore follows that the dot product of a minus d with c minus b cannot be equal to 0, because they are clearly not perpendicular to each other. Opening up the left hand side, we get a dot c minus a dot b minus d dot c plus d dot b is not equal to 0. This can be rearranged as a dot b plus c dot d is not equal to a dot c plus b dot t and this is the required answer.